This is subtraction of non-decimal bases using the finger chart. As I invite the students to the rug, I would bring down the subtraction chart that they are familiar with from the primary classroom. And we would just use a couple of examples to become re-familiar with the board. If we had 12 minus 5, we're going to bring our finger down and across, and that equals 7. Or 9 minus 4 equals 5. We can try 7 minus 4, and that equals 3. The students can continue to practice until they feel comfortable. Then I would show them our base 5 subtraction chart. And I would point out along the horizontal, we have the minuend. And along the vertical, we have the subtrahend. So we're going to start filling this chart out together, starting with our minuend 1. If we subtract the subtrahend 1, we get 0. Then we have 2 minus 1, and that is 1. We have 3 minus 1, that equals 2. 4 minus 1 equals 3. Then we have base 5, 1, 0, minus 1, and that equals 4. We know that, the, that this square would equal a negative number, so we can leave that blank. We go over to 2 minus 2, that's 0. 3 minus 2 equals 1. 4 minus 2 equals 2. Then we have base 5, 1, 0, minus 2, that equals 3. Again, in the next row, we're going to have negative numbers in the first two squares, so we'll leave those blank. We have 3 minus 3, 0. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Then we have base 5, 1, 0, minus 3, and that equals 2. We'll leave the first three boxes blank. We have 4 minus 4. 0. Base 5, 1, 0, minus 4 equals 1. In the last row, we're, gonna, we're going to go all the way across. We have base 5, 1, 0, minus base 5, 1, 0, and that equals 0. So here we would use the chart. We're going to take 4 and subtract 3. So we find 4 we go over to 3, that equals 1, and we can write down that we are using base 5. And then we have 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 equals 1. So 2, 4, base 5, 4, minus base 5, 1, 3, equals base 5, 1, 1. And I could provide the students with more examples that they can work on their own. Another example I'm going to show is with exchanging. We are going to take the number base 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 4, and we are going to subtract base 5, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. In the units category, we have 4 minus 2. Here we can refer back to our chart. That gives us 2. And then I can identify this as base 5. In the next one, we have 3, and we are subtracting 1. That gives us 2. In the next column, we have 1 minus 4. We know we are going to have to exchange for that. So if we exchange, now we have base 5, 1, 1, which we know in base 10 is equal to 6. If we subtract 4, it would be equal to base 5, 2. We move to the next category where we have 2 minus 3. We know we'll have to exchange again. Now we have base 5, 1, 2, minus 3, which equals base 5, 4. In the next column, we have 1 minus 2. We know we need to exchange. 
we have base 5, 1, 1, minus 2, which equals base 5, 4. We have solved the equation for base 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 4, minus base 5, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And the answer is base 5, 4, 4, 2, 2, 2.